Are you ready for a little interview, Sting? Yeah, I'm ready. Great. Well, first of all, I hear you were in a group called The Police. W what exactly did you do? I was a musician. Really? Yeah. Wow. Well, let's talk about your first solo album. When you were recording... Uh, Sting, you got a little... You got something on your nose there. Okay. Um, on your first solo album... No, it's still there. There, you got it. Now, when you were recording your first solo album, did you... No, you still got a little... That's it. Now, oh, I forgot where I was. Um, say, how do you feel when people come up to you on the street and rub dog food in your face? I find that very upsetting, actually. How about if they put a paper bag over your head and forced you to bark like a chicken? I don't respond to that very well at all. Well, no wonder everyone thinks you're such a stick in the mud. Well, they think of me as a serious person, but I'm hilarious sometimes, you know. Oh, really? Well, let's see the funniest face you can make. Hey, that's pretty good. Now let's play Simon Says, okay? Simon Says, clean the wax out of your ears. Simon Says, do this. Good, now pick your nose and wipe it in your hair. I didn't say Simon Says! <laughs> now, you were involved with Live Aid. Uh, that, that must have been an incredibly spiritual experience. I can't even imagine it. After the show was over, what did everybody do? Start flicking each other's private parts with towels. Do you remember what it was like when you were an embryo? It seems like a lifetime ago. How do you feel about flossing your teeth? It's what I enjoy doing. It's, it's what I wake up and look forward to doing. Tell me a little about your reggae influences. Well, you know, I mean, reggae's been in the, in the subculture for a long time, you know, from my boy Lollipop onwards. It's not something that... Ah! Oh, did I scare you? I'm sorry. Uh, go on about the um, reggae... Oh, never mind. Um, what do you think about Barry Manilow? He was the first black person I'd see live. Uh... Is that the wrong, wrong answer? I'm afraid so. Oh, sorry. You know, you're really screwing up this interview. I thought about. I was doing rather well. <laughs> yeah. Well, how would you say the Beatles are different from the New York Mets? The Beatles are better songwriters. Well, it looks like we're just about out of time, but I want to thank you for a lovely interview. And here's a nice lollipop for being such a good little boy. You know, I'm 36 years old. I'm not a kid. Yes, yes. Well, uh, I'm afraid you'll have to run along now. You'll understand when you grow up. But I am grown up. Geez, how long do you want this interview to go on? Until we're too old and stupid to do anything else. Look, pal, are you going to leave or am I going to have to make you leave? In order to do that, you have to kick my ass first. All right, pal, let's go right here. Come on, let's go. Come on. Oh, jeez. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God.